Blanket Metal World, July 5th, 2021. This test is to gather plasticity range of the, uh, the uh, research he treat, the version right here. And they are nice steel and uh, they sharpen wood using its pro at 10 degree per side. And all the apex are, I mean, all the edge apex at 600 grit diamond plate. <clears throat> and then the bird using diamond extra fine and then extra, extra fine. So the edge is fairly clean. And the plasticity range means that how much it can uh, uh, bend, in this case bend, and stay bent. Right? Not much of a, a, a displacement that moves like tactility, but how much it can bend. And the more it, you can bend low, um, in, in terms of with a low curvature, meaning that um, it bends and then it hit um, carbide or other object. I mean, what inside in the matrix, then it will, in this case, it continue to bend more rapidly, so you have a tight curvature. But if it bend and the and the one next to it, I mean, also have uh, plasticity, it allows to bend more. So you see a bigger bend or a lower curvature or a longer distance in that way. And so the plasticity in that case is have a wider plasticity range because the area of engagement is also widened at that point. It doesn't mean that the degree it can bend um, more, but it, that is another level that I don't think I can detect with this test. So it cut in its edge, cut in um, half inch uh, diameter scissor rope and then a disposable bamboo drop stick get one slice so that without compounding the uh, the edge um, deformation or damage and then slice pork bone some of the edge did uh, encounter two slices you can watch the video the uh, speed up video at the after uh, this analysis Quickly going through here, here's a bigger view of overall, but please don't, first of all, don't compare the magnitude of, let's say, the damage in the bamboo or the bone. A lot of it have to do with how the cut is initiated and also how much force. So that's not the... Uh, you know, the thing that you can really compare because they're not equal cut. What uh, I'm looking for again is how much it will, it did, how much uh, deflection, in this case, how much it bent. Anyway, 20 CV here to show, okay, for scissor rope, it, it had very, this case would be a microscopic amount of uh, of um, bent in some of the area it look as if there anytime you see smooth edges here like that then it probably uh, more likely to be it's fracture because it, so therefore the curvature is very tight so it, uh, it, it, it roll in this case and then quickly when it grows certain, exceeds certain degree it becomes fracture so, and for the bamboo, you can see also here some of it have similar, but some of the, the black thing you see, though are the uh, the curvature, the bend towards you, and the brighter reflection, that means the bend away from you. And here the bone, you can also see in that uh, some of the bend here, but of course they are clearly fractured with sap, um, edges here, or, 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 or 90 degree um, cliff. And looking at the, the 2063 or 64 Rockwell here, 
the degree of it, say for scissor rope here, the edge is because if I take a picture in one side, so you see these things better away from from the, the view here. So therefore, I don't bright. But for the bamboo, you can see it bend both ways, some darker and some brighter, as you can see. And the fracture, probably because, I mean, sometimes the termination of cut, sometimes that there is a little twist, and then that fracture. Again, that, not the, uh, and you can see the, uh, all of these edges, the thickness behind the edge is very thin, so you can see the behind edge thickness, BET. And um, so 2063 allow higher um, or longer distance of bent. That means they have lo lower curvature at that point, but when it bends a certain amount, a certain degree, then it will fracture also. CBM 154 or 65 Rockwell here, you can see the dark and the bright. That means, and the bamboo the same way here. And uh, most of these things are jagged, so therefore these are not fractured. You can see the fracture, how clean it is right now. And, and also, again, this is very thin, so and the fresh and the band when they dig into the bone to certain height, then yeah, at some point that it, the thicker um, cross section have less band allowance, therefore you're going to fracture. So, chip in this case. CPM 1, uh, M4, it's a little fuzzy, but however, on the bamboo, you can see a uh, bright and dark level here. That means uh, it's a lot of strength, quite high strength, because again, I mean, this one did not um, really uh, have, let's say, uh, deflected or bent much at all, even for the bamboo. And for pork rib bone here, I, there in this corner, uh, they have um, the band uh, prior to fracture here, but this clean fracture here. Man, I cut a 65 and a half Rockwell, and some of these things here are just dead or bent. So, um, so that will look a bit away, but sometimes when the edge impact the um, the back end, and uh, you we see something like that. But when this thing didn't impact much here, this is repeat impact 20, uh, cut it to uh, 20 times for each of the edge, and for bamboo, they have one cut. And you also you see that uh, it's have a little of um, deflection towards, uh, bent toward the camera, and for the uh, Pork rib bone, I can include this area right here. You can see that actually it bent away a little bit right here, totally very edge right here. And this thing is a bent right here. So they have a really good, um, in this case, plasticity. And then, of course, beyond that, then it will get fracture. These are micro, microchips. The uh, near lock, six and a half, 64 and a half lock well. Again, the edge here is just getting uh, it's all to roll. Uh, this and bamboo the same way. I mean, it it, it get um, bent mainly into the camera at this point. This view, except for this, bent away a little bit. But again, these are uh, all deformation. And for rip bone, you can see the high degree. Uh, plasticity, in other words, it, it's longer distance. That means, um, you know, um, this would allow bigger engagement uh, before fracture. But however, again, I mean, when it got so much um, deflection, lateral deflection, then it will get fracture, as you can see here.
S45 VN, a 64 Rockwell, cutting rope, it got, um, he has the old um, roll, and at the, uh, for the bamboo, um, mostly roll, except for one toward the end over here, where it looks like this thing's like, it's possibly a microchip, but very small. And the pork rib bone, the uh, it's sizable. That's why I increased the size here. It's a sizable, but again, the, the, that was much leverage because this is a partial tang um, uh, blade. You can see in the video. S90V. They have temporary handle. So anyway, have good amount of um, of roll here or deflection. And for the bamboo, it's all, again, deflection. There are no uh, uh, microchips. Or these could, uh, I don't, again, these are more, look like the, uh, it could be a microchip along here, but it's too fuzzy at this point. And here the pulp ribbon, and included here, so I'm looking at the point of failure. I mean, when you cut rib bone like that, when they're hard material, a lot of time that uh, you don't, the area that you're in contact, a lot of time when torn the whole section off rather than leave some intact. But anyway, so this uh, left some intact here. That means some of these things bend too far and then it fractured. And the um, CPMT 15. This is very thin edge. You can see in the, in the bamboo picture here. These thing, the rope didn't do anything on top of well, the edge. Is, is pretty much uh, probably slightly uh, duller than uh, before, but uh, it didn't do anything on top of damage. The bamboo, you can see that some part of the edge is deflected toward the camera and some away and it's uh, stay pristine even though right here is, is uh, it's so tiny because the thickness behind the edge is only 24 ten thousand uh, of an inch and for the uh, yeah and then I think because this thing have a big handle and full thing big blade so I put a lot of force on it and so I take a big chunk out of the edge on top of a uh, big chunk, meaning that uh, it, it's uh, here one millimeter. Um, it uh, look like it's uh, maybe one and a half, 1.3 millimeter height. Hey, thanks for watching.